Hey everybody, Mr. Math Blog here. This lesson is pretty similar to the last one, uh, decimal uh, divide decimal. So this is uh, five six in our textbook. So hey, if you guys can, would you guys click like? Uh, um, and if you can, find us on Facebook. That'd be cool, Mr. Math Blog on Facebook. Anyways, uh, there's our common core strand for our teachers. And then how can we place the decimal point in the quotient? So we're going to be moving the decimal point uh, to the right here. So when we uh, multiply both the divisor and the dividend by the same power of 10, the quotient stays the same. So, for example, uh, basic facts, uh, 8 divided by 2 is equal to 4. Everybody knows that. So, if we multiply both of the 8 and the 2 times 10, it just adds a 0 to it. So, 80 divided by 20 is also going to be 4. Okay, if we multiply the 80 and the 20 times 10 again, it's going to add another 0. So, it's 800 divided by 200, and by golly, that one's also equal to 4. Well, it goes backwards the other way, too. When we, um, uh, when we multiply instead of by 10, we multiply by 1 tenth, which I will do that next. So 120 divided by 40 equals 3. So when we multiply each one of those numbers by 0.1, which is 1 tenth, then it takes off a 0. It moves the decimal place to the left. So uh, so t it makes this 12, and it takes a 0 off of that, 12 divided by 4. Well, that's basic facts also. That's also 3 right there. And if we do it again times uh, 1 tenth or times 0.1, it takes this decimal, what's understood to be there, and it moves it one place to the left. Okay, so it moves it one place to the left. So 1.2 divided by 0.4 is also going to be that 3 right there. Okay, so if we multiply this, both these numbers by the same power of 10, the quotient's going to be the same no matter what right there. Okay, let's try this with this one. Alex has 63 cents or, or uh, 63 hundredths of a dollar. He wants to buy marbles that cost uh, 7 cents or 7 hundredths each. Uh, how many marbles can he buy? Okay, so what we're going to do is divide here. So uh, what do we multiply hundredths uh, by to get a whole number? So since both of these are in hundredths, this is 63 hundredths. This 7 ends in the hundreds also, so this, this is 7 hundredths. So to move this decimal over two places, we're going to multiply it by 100 because 100 has two zeros. These zeros tell me how many places that decimal is going to move over. Okay, so we're going to figure out what's a 0.63 divided by 0 0.07. So let's multiply both of those by 100 and we get 63 divided by 7. And if we know our division uh, reasonably well, that's going to give us 9. So if this one's 9, so is this one right here. Okay, so let's answer the question right here. Alex can buy 9 marbles. Okay. All right. Uh, so try this. We're going to divide uh, 56 hundredths divided by 8 tenths. Okay, this ends in the tenths. This 6 ends in the hundredths. So uh, we're going to multiply the divisor by a power of 10 to make it a whole number. So this one's the divisor right here. This is the dividend right here. This is the divisor. The answer is called the quotient right there. So to move this over one place, we're going to multiply it by 10. So we're going to multiply 0.8 times 10, and that's going to move the decimal over one place. So this becomes 8. And this 0.8 just moves it over right there. Okay, so now since we multiply this by 10, we're going to multiply po uh, 0.56 times 10. And that's going to move the decimal over one place to the right. Okay, so now what we're going to do is carry that decimal straight up. So uh, now we're dividing 8 goes into 5.6. So let's put the decimal right up there and 8 goes into 5. You can't do 8 into 5, so it's 0 times. And don't forget to line that decimal up. Okay, so 8 times 0 is 0, and you subtract, and you get 5. And then what do we do now? Well, we slide that 6 down, and then we ask ourselves, 8 goes into 56 7 times. And so we multiply 8 times 7 and get 56, and when we subtract, we get 0. Okay, so uh, 0.56 divided by uh, 0.8 is going to be the same as 5.6 divided by 8, which is uh, 0.7 right there, or 0 0.7 right there, okay? All right, so if you ever have a decimal out here, what you do is you just move it over. How many spots do you have to move it over? And that's what you have to do inside of here. You have to move it over that many spots also. Okay, and here we just multiplied them by 10. That made them move over right there. Okay, so uh, Isabel's, uh, exercise, Isabel's exercise is to kayak. A kayak is like a canoe. Uh, to kayak, uh, three uh, and 72 hundredths, or 3.72 miles, on a river that's near her home. 
Isabel kayaks at an average speed of 1.2 miles per hour. How many hours will it take Isabel to kayak 3.72 miles? So we're going to divide 3.72 divided by 1.2. All right, well, let's first estimate, you guys. Well, if we just rounded this to like 3.7, and this rounds to like 1, close enough to 1, and 3.7 divided by 1 is going to get us... Uh, 3.7 right there. So let's uh, multiply the divisor. Remember this 1.2 is the, the divisor by a power of 10 to make it a whole number. So we're going to move it over one place to the right to make it 12. So we're going to multiply 1.2 times 10. That'll move it over one place to the right. Okay, so that means we're going to have to multiply 3.72 times 10 and that's going to move it over one place to the right. Do you see how it went over from here to here? There it is right there. So now what we're going to do is divide 12 into 37.2. So let's write the decimal point uh, um, uh, in the quotient above the decimal point in the dividend. So we're going to put slide this decimal a point right up there. So there it is. I don't know if you can see it. Can you see that little dot right there? Okay, let's just slide this up and put it on the next page. And we're going to go ahead and divide. Okay, so 12 goes into 37 three times. And then we multiply 12 times 3 is 36. And then we subtract 37 minus 36 is 1. And then we slide that 2 down. And 12 goes into 12 once. And 12 times uh, 1 is 12. And then we subtract. And we finally get 0 right there. So our answer is sitting up there at the top. So Isabel will kayak for 3.1 hours right there. All right, you guys. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to click like. Take care, you guys.